Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the singles final for the 2019 ASB Classic. Would you please welcome your two players to centre courts. Our qualifier from Canada, Bianca Andreescu, and your defending champion from Germany, Julia Gerges. It is the giant killer against the defending champion here on finals day at the 2019 ASB Classic. And what an intriguing final it should be as well. The qualifier from Canada, the 18-year-old Bianca Andreescu, taking on Julia Gerges. So a good traditional way to start. They're probably too petrified to even play now in this ASB Classic final. And what an intriguing match it should be as well. Bianca Andreescu, the 18-year-old qualifier who has just had a remarkable week, a week that she will never, ever forget. And can she go one stage further once again here today and beat the defending champion, Julia Gerges, the former world number nine, on a picture-perfect day once again here in this beautiful city of Auckland. We should be in for a wonderful afternoon with some top-quality tennis to bring you over the course of the next few hours. Huge crowd in once again as they have been all week. It's always a tremendously well-supported event, this the ASB Classic. They absolutely love coming out to watch their tennis and this should be a really good one. Fabio Sosa there, the chair umpire for us. So coin toss done, pictures done, and it is the final. Bianca Andreescu taking on the number two seed, Julia Gerges, here at the ASB Tennis Arena in Auckland. Julia Gerges aiming to become the first player in 15 years to win back-to-back -back WTA titles here at the ASB Classic. And this is how they have made the final. Gerges coming through against Victoria Kuzmova in her semi-final. She looked very impressive as well. 6-1, 7-6, especially in that first set. She was unstoppable. And Bianca Andreescu, who has already beaten some huge names in the tennis world this week. I think a lot of people thought that uh, the way that Shea Su Wei went about life on the tennis court may cause the 18-year-old a few problems. Anything but... Andreescu coming through that as comfortably as you like. 
6-3 to book her spot in her first ever WTA Tour final. I hope she's feeling a little bit better as well because yesterday after the first set she called her coach down and just said that she uh, was struggling a little bit physically with her health. She's been suffering with uh, a bit of a cold this week. You can see the big strapping on her right leg as well. But it has just been a stunning week for Bianca Andreescu, only 18 years of age. She came into this week ranked uh, 152nd. She's already moved up to 107 in the world. She'll move up into the top 90 in the world if she beats Yulia Gerges today in this final. But just look at some of those names that she has beaten to get here. Tamea Babos in round one was a good scalp, 6-4, 7-6. Caroline Wozniacki, the number one seed in uh, round two, 6-4, six, 6-4. Four, six, four. Venus Williams in the quarterfinals, coming from a set down there as well. Venus Williams took the opening set, 7-6. Andreescu fighting back, 6-1, six, 6-3 six, in the end. And uh, then Shea Su Wei, the number three seed in the semi-final, 3-3. Three three. She also had to come through three rounds of qualifying as well just to even reach the main draw stage. She said right at the start of the week that she was just hoping to come through qualies and at least play a few matches here. Well, I don't even think in her wildest dream she could have quite envisaged what has happened over the last six or seven days. And can she now add another top 10 victory? Obviously, Yulia Gerg is the former world number nine is just a truly incredible story what we've seen from Andreescu. She's the first qualifier to make the ASB Classic final since uh, Marian Marushka won the title back in 1997. She's also only the fifth player born from the year 2000 onwards to make a WTA Tour final. But she is going to have to be at her best today if she is to topple. Yulia Gerg is 14 in the world right now. Has been as high as nine. She's won six titles on the WTA Tour. One of them, of course, coming here 12 months ago. And she's just made pretty serene progress through this tournament. There was one match especially that she really had to dig deep and work hard for that quarterfinal match against... Eugenie Bouchard had to come from a set down there, Gerges. She lost the opening set 6-3, won the second 6-3. She then had to defend match point at 6-5 in the third set. She did that. She took it to a tiebreaker, and she won by eight points to six in that final set breaker. But far more straightforward in her semi-final match against uh, Victoria Kuzmova, the 20-year-old 6-1. 7-6. But she just absolutely loves it here. First reached the final back in 2016 where she lost out to Sloane Stevens there. 7-5-6-2. Semi-final in 2017. And then the winner here last year beating Caroline Wozniacki. 6-4, 7-6 in the showpiece event 12 months ago. Not since uh, Lady Danila Du took back-to-back -to -back titles in 2003-2004 uh, has a WTA player successfully defended the ASB Classic title. So an opportunity for Yulia Gerges to do just that. Weather has been terrific all week, really. We had one very minor rain delay midweek. It was uh, only about 10 minutes or so that they were off court. But other than that, it has been nice and sunny and dry. It's been pretty windy, mind you. But perfect conditions here for the ASB Classic final. It is Bianca Andreescu of Canada up against Julia Gerges, the number two seed of Germany. 
Unfortunately, that wind has died right down over the last couple of days. The quarter-final day, it was awful playing conditions, absolutely blowing a gale. There is uh, Andreescu's coach there, travels with it. Michael Gessera in the Yulia Gerges camp, and it's going to be Andreescu to get this final underway. It's going to be interesting to see how she settles here, how she starts the Canadian, because surely has to be some nerves. Although there's been no signs of it at all this week. But there may be a few nerves in her semi-final match, but just seems so at home on the big stage. That first serve is going to be crucial for Andreescu today because we all know that the power that Yulia Gurgis possesses and how good she can be on that return of serve. She will go after the second serve of the Canadian. So important that she keeps landing those big first blows. Andreescu wanted after losing that first point. She responded very well and has the opening game on the board. One love. Yeah, we've seen that a little bit this week. Super aggressive off that return. She knows what a threat the serve from Gerges could be. Doesn't want to let her settle. Defended well initially there. The big blows from Gerges. There is Michael Gesserer. He's done so much good work with Yulia Gerges over the years. He's really transformed her on stage. Wasn't quite fulfilling her potential. Oh. 
is challenging. I'm going to say, I thought it looked good from the uh, the angle that we looked at. Surprised that she's challenging this. Oh, just, just that. Good call. Not only getting it back, but the depth in which she got it back as well. It's a big backhand down the line there, but look at the depth in which Andreescu managed to respond with. Two break points. First of many, you'd imagine, today. Gurgis is challenging and she seems pretty confident as well. The fact that she's asked for the balls again to serve. Let's have a look. It's in. And it's a break. Well, she looked really confident with that challenge, did the German. What a start for Bianca Andreescu. Exactly what she would have wanted. I've been lying in bed last night. I bet she barely slept thinking about this match today. Well, I don't think she'll mind that either. Gurga's already just trying to change it up, going away from her natural game. Right in the slot on that forehand wing. Well, Gug is thinking about challenging again. She's only got one more challenge That's remaining, so she doesn't really want to blow all of them just two games in. She's had a, a smile on her face the entire week, pretty much, as uh, Virginie Tremblay. I'm sure uh, Sylvan Bruno as well, who she also works with, is watching on. He's in Melbourne at the moment. Yeah, good serve. It's an effective serve as well against Julia Kirk is right into the body, cramping her for room. What a start for Andre Escu. She has raced into a three love lead. And already, Gerges is called for the coach.
Well, it's been some start. Hasn't missed a first serve yet. Bianca Andreescu. All 11 landed, and uh, Yulia Gurg is has only made one. She was broken in her last service game, and already becomes quite an important game here. Can't afford to go a double breakdown. Oh, she missed another one. Well, you'd think Love it's Gurg is playing in her first ever WTA Tour final the way that this one started rather than Andreescu oh. huge double fault Just has not settled Played so well yesterday as well. That first set against Victoria Kuzmova. Probably the best set she's played all week. Absolutely blew her away right from the get-go. showed yesterday the Canadian that she's not all about power she's also got tremendous touch and feel she was kind of playing chase away at her own game at times but a little off the mark with that one there from Gurgis on that occasion. Should be a good hold from Love 30 down. the better, best point that Gurgis has played in this match but all credit to Andreescu defending Jeez. resiliently just getting Gurgis to play that extra ball you just never know what's going to happen should have done more with this one really Gurgis on cross court it would have been game over another break point this for the double break and you'd say almost the first set well it was a bit of a miss hit return and Gurgis was unable to deal with it double break confirmed what a start to this final for Bianca Andreescu and Julia Gurgis must be in a bit of a state of shock right now. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Players are ready. Well, Canada has already had one champion today at the ASB Classic. Eugenie Bouchard won the doubles title here with her partner, Sophia Kennan. Love 15. We beat uh, Harrigan and Townsend 10-7 in the 
match tie break. So is it going to be a Canadian doubles and singles champion here in Auckland? Another one. Well, she's challenging, and if this is out, she then doesn't have any more challenges for the rest of this set. Oh, it's a good challenge on this occasion. So a chance to get one break back here for Gerges. This first set is by no means over if she can break back here. Gessera watching on and Julia Gerges will feel an awful lot better about life as she gets one break back she still trails by a break but Andres is back in this first set one. at 1-4 one as we look out up, up above over the ASB tennis arena it's a wonderful complex here in Auckland 1986 the first time that the tournament was held and Hobbs beating Louise Field in the inaugural event and then in about 2010 the venue underwent redevelopment it added various things we've seen the rooftop swimming pool was uh, new practice courts added, a new player lounge and bar, a new permanent uh, stand as well, permanent seating. There's also been plans to uh, add a retractable roof, but unfortunately that just hasn't quite happened for one reason or another over the years. We quite often need a roof in, in Auckland as well. Last year it poured down. Fortunately, this week time. it has been fine. So, Gerg is serving at 1 4, having just got one of the two breaks back. Can she hold serve and just begin to ask a few questions of Andreescu? Struggling to land that first serve at the moment, Gerges. Down at just 43%. It's a third double fault already. 
She's won just one of the nine points behind her second serve as well. So not ideal when you're struggling to land a first serve and you can barely win a point on your second serve. at the moment just thought after getting that break back in the previous game she may well make a bit of a charge in this set now but uh, a couple of minutes later it's love 40 again Another clean return winner for Andreescu. Double break confirmed once more. Julia Gerg is just looking so flat out there right now. She does not look particularly up for this final. And right now she's being blown away. We've played 22 minutes. And Andreescu is serving for the set. 5-1. Gurgis has won five of her last six finals. So she's normally pretty solid when she gets to the business end of the tournament. Great points. Miss Andres is trying to go the right center service line. The ball is going up. So another break. New balls, please. But she's yet to hold serve, Yulia Gerges. She's going to have to hold serve this time, otherwise the first set will belong to Andriescu. But it's back to just the single break. 
Gerges will serve at 2-5. Well, Kirk is considered to be one of the best servers on the WTA Tour, but right now, desperately struggling. 39% of her first serves finding the box. And there's one just one point out of the 11 second serves that she's hit. So it's a mixture of a couple of poor errors from Gerges, but also some wonderful winners as well from Andreescu, really going after the second serve. So take a look over this beautiful city. Certainly worth a visit if you've never been. It is a stunning part of the world, especially on a day like this. I'd imagine Eugenie Bouchard, after winning the doubles title earlier on today, is probably somewhere in the crowd cheering on Bianca Andreescu. But it's Gerges with new balls, should help her along the way, but looking to try and hold serve for the very first time in this match, serving at 2 5. Another incredible return. Takes it so early, landing about six inches inside the baseline. Absolutely no time for Gerges to react. So out of sorts, though. His Gerg is love thirty. Well, Gerges is challenging. The way she's challenged so far in this first set, you'd be surprised if this is in. And if it isn't, it is three set points. Now we're near in. Another double fault in the fourth of the set. And Andrew Escu with three set points. And that's what she's resorted to, trying to serve volley. What a set from the Canadian qualifier, Bianca Andreescu, playing in her first ever WTA Tour final. You wouldn't know it. She's taken the opening set off the defending champion, 6-2. So Gerges is nipping off court here. She's going to go back and try and gather herself and regroup, you'd imagine. Andreescu looks to be getting some treatment here. Here's the highlights from that first set.
Well, I suppose we shouldn't even be surprised, should we, at what Andreescu's done so far in this final, the way that she's played this week. She's had in a semi-final against uh, She Su Wei just after she'd won the first set. She uh, called Virginie Tremblay down her fitness coach and said that she was feeling really bad. She was going to potentially ask for a medical timeout, but I think she then started off the second set so well she didn't really want to disrupt the rhythm that she was building up. But this is a little concerning that she's getting some fairly vigorous treatment here after the opening set. Kugis is still off court. So it looks like the kind of left abductor. I don't think this is the, the same thing she was complaining of in her semi-final. I think she just felt under the weather against uh, She Su Wei. She was breathing quite heavily and coughing and spluttering a little bit as well. You certainly wouldn't know that she's been struggling with any injury. I'm sure she's thinking in the back of her mind that Gurgis will not play as poorly as she did in that opening set for the remainder of this match. She was really off colour, was the German. Had to come from a set down in her quarter-final match, did Julia Gurgis. Lost the opening set 6-3 to Eugenie Bouchard. And then uh, played much better in the second set taking that 6-3 and then taking the decider 7-6. Just being informed here that uh, Andreescu has taken this medical timeout. So just a little more time for Gurgis to try and regroup. At 60 seconds or so remaining of the medical timeout. That's interesting, isn't it? How far back behind the baseline she's hitting. Now, I suppose that is because... Gurgis hits the ball a lot bigger than Shea Su Wei. But still dominating. It's the return of serve that has been mightily impressive. Not just today, the whole week. Takes it so early, a big blow, gets that first big hit in. And is able just to take control of the point. Gurgis just hasn't been able to get a grip on serve at all. And you're talking about one of the best servers on tour as well. And she's broken her all four times. Time. So it's uh, Andreescu to get second the second set underway. She took the first 6-2. She's seven. just had a medical timeout. Not sure whether it was the abductor or the, the lower back that's been troubling her, but it is the Canadian to start us off here. Like the it's a lovely start. Just speaking about the Andreescu return of serve, well... Gurgis has that in her locker as well. We just haven't seen it all too often so far. Over double the number of unforced errors in the opening set for Gurgis. Good at digging those out. The Canadian looks on the back foot, but manages to not only scramble it back, but with interest as well.
And again, back to back return winners. Michael Gessera says, Here we go. That's more like it. Just looked really flat as well, though, Gurg is in that first set. There was no real emotion when she was missing. Absolutely stunning returning from the German. This will make her feel so much better. A couple of break points. And again. A returning exhibition from Julia Gerges in that game. And it's just the start that First the number two seed seven. wanted. Gets the early break. Here are the stats then from that opening set. You can see the first serve percentage way down for Gerges, only landing 41% of her first serves, winning just 44% of them when they did go in, winning 8% of points behind a second serve. That is really not good enough. More unforced errors over double the, the number of Andreescu. Pretty similar in terms of winners. So all the stats really in Andreescu's favor there. Fifteen. Second ace. Seemingly more of an intensity about Gurgis in this second set. Concerning that at only 18 years of age, she's having so many problems with her back. Hope that it's not going to affect her career going forward. Turn. Try and overhit that backhand. Gurg is on the stretch. with a couple of hammer blows there, landing pretty much on the baseline, and Antoniescu just dealing with it so well. Oh, what a chance 
chance that was. Kirk is deciding to follow that net called in. It was a pretty simple pass, it must be said for Andreescu. She screamed and yelped when she netted it. And so much time to make it. So Gerges, for the first time in this match, is able to hold serve. Leads to love in this second set. Has won four straight matches against Canadians as Julia Gerges. Two against Eugenie Bouchard, two against Francoise Abanda. Did she go against? I think thought she had it. Gonna have a little glare down, see whether she can see a mark. No challenge. That's a shot that she used pretty effectively yesterday against Shea Suwe in her semi final match. Touch just hasn't quite been there today, but everything else has been working pretty well. short ball hammered home the forehand and all of a sudden 40 love becomes 40 30 and now there's a bit of pressure on this for the teenager serve again into the body using that body serve effectively against Gerges and an important hold remains just the one breakdown in this second set and the way that she returned against Gerges in the first set she will back herself to get that break back hours of the morning back in Canada I'm sure plenty of people have either stayed up or got up to cheer on Andreescu today
great variation, isn't it? Throws in the moon ball, Love forcing Kyrgyz back, and then takes on the next one really early, the top of the bounce. You almost expect it to go the way of Andreescu. Oh, what a combo. The one two punch, serve out wide, inside out forehand winner. 15. Did so well, Andreescu there. Kyrgyz is really having to work so hard. Struggling to actually hit the ball through the Canadian. A couple of times, though, she's had that pass and hasn't been able to make it. She missed one on the backhand wing earlier in this set. And now on the forehand. Good holds. Love 30 down. Gurgis manages to find a way through it. Depth with that second serve. She knows that Gurgis was going to come after it. Nice yeah, hold. Good hold to love. 
Kirk is still has the break in this second set and leads by three games to two. Well, back in 2017, Andreescu became the first player born in the 2000s to defeat a top 20 player. She defeated Kristina Mladenovic in Washington. Straight sets. Nice. And Mladenovic was uh, world number 13 at the time back in August of 2017 and it was almost after that defeat to Andreescu that she went on that big slump. Serve, second serve that 150 kilometers an hour. Perfectly placed, just swinging away from Andreescu. Once again, got treatment at that sit down. You just fear that the longer this match goes on, whether her body is actually going to be able to withstand it. Lovely, yeah, beautiful touch from Gurgis and one of the easiest and more straightforward service holds that Gerges has had in this match. Disappointed not to have made that. Yeah, that's beautifully put away. Perfectly positioned. A little bit short with the return, Gurgis, just allowing Andreescu to unload on that forehand side.
her defending skills are absolutely brilliant. The Canadians, you've really got to hit something special to get past it. Turn off that second serve, and once again, Andreescu doing well just to stay in touch in this second set. Still, only trails by a single break. It's Gurgis who leads 4 3. Stunning view, isn't it? Players love coming to Auckland to start off their tennis season. Really good prep for the Australian Open, which of course starts in the not too distant future. They've got one more week next week to try and tune up. And then uh, Australian Open starts on the 14th of January. Really does creep up on you the first major of the tennis season. Of course, in a lot of other sports, you normally have a little bit of time just to work your way into the season. Think of golf, Masters not until April. God, what a picture that is. much better on that serve in this second set as Gurgis mentioned that not only her first serve percentage was down but also even when she landed it she was winning less than 50% of points behind it that's only the third point that she's lost behind her first serve in set two she's won nine of the twelve she's won four of six behind her second as well there's been uh, a drastic improvement behind her own serve. No. from Andreescu and it brings up two break points 15. and this to get back on serve middle of the court this leaves Gerges absolutely stranded that she was 
going to challenge the Gurgis serve at some stage, the way that she was going about it in the Four first set. On. You did feel one break of serve probably wasn't going to be enough for Julia Gurgis. And this is how quickly things can turn around because she's seemingly been behind throughout the majority of this second set. And all of a sudden, if she's able to hold serve here, Gurgis will be having to serve to stay in it. the net just uh, come loose at the bottom net Fabio Sosa to the rescue was the play she's been having success with just hitting her big ground strokes that touch just hasn't quite been there so far today missed a few of those It does look as though Julia Gerges is now going to have to serve just to stay in this final. Yeah, just man, using the pace of the return. Guides it down the line. And Bianca Andreescu is one game away from clinching her first ever WTA Tour title. Gurgis calls for the coach. She'll be under enormous pressure in a couple of moments' time. Body language very important, okay? Keep your head up, okay? This is perfect, okay? One thing I would say, go, she has, right now, she's, she's only using her forehand, okay? She's using her, her weapon. Go on, go, go on the back end. Yeah, she's very inconsistent, okay? Okay? Is in order. Come on, so you are the best player. Yeah, but you work for it. Don't stop working until it's over. And then you will win the game. Aber jetzt fang an. Ja, du bist in den zweiten Satz anders gestartet, du bist besser gestartet, du warst viel mehr da, du bist jetzt viel mehr da, aber du bist noch immer nicht da, wo du sein kannst. Also hol alles aus dir raus. Zu jeder Zeit. Bei jedem Punkt. Am Fokus. Nur die Punkte zählen, nur die Punkte zählen, nur das, was du dir vornimmst. Hol dir das. Kein. Auf geht's. And both players calling their coaches down. Very really impassioned speech there from Michael Gesserer, trying to get Julia Gerges going. 
Thank you very much. But she is serving to stay in this final. Please. The set and four, five down. Fifteen long. No sign of nerves at all. Great return of serve. A little bit short from Gerges. Made no mistake. Well done. Well put away. It's a little awkward. Hasn't had great success when coming forward in this match, Julia Gurgis. She's only won six of the 11 points. It's a great serve. Forty fifteen. Good holds. Under enormous pressure there was Julia Kyrgyz. Five games off. Managed to find plenty of first serves. Again, just trying to G herself on. Oh, she missed it. Miss hit return. Love 15. Often the trickiest ones to deal with, the miss hit return. Landing in areas that you're not really used to. Oh, serve. Only 151 kilometers an hour, but perfectly placed. First ace in this second set. Third overall. Again, finds the first serve. Right when she needs it, she could do with another one here at 30 all. Please. There's someone behind Andreescu just putting Gurgis off.
good hitting. Relentless hitting off that backhand wing gets the round of applause from Michael Gessera. And it brings up break points. from Julia Gerges what a time to break and in a couple of moments time she will now serve for the second set the defending champion leads 6-5 almost feel as though Andrescu needs to get this done in straight sets clearly struggling with the lower back the number of times she's asked for treatment on it although when the actual points are being played you can't necessarily see her being in pain I wouldn't say she's moving particularly poorly but there is an issue there the fact that she called for the medical timeout she's called for Treatment a few times on the sit down, so the longer this match goes on, you'd say it favours Yulia Gerges. You just never know with Bianca Andreescu. She doesn't live life by the rule book, that's for sure. You wouldn't be at all surprised if she broke immediately back, but it is. Yulia Gerg is trying to serve to take this final to a decider. 6 5. Oh. It's not trying to play against a brick wall at times against hey, Andreescu. She just seems to get everything back. She got that. Miss. Been called the in. Called the ball, the right far side line. The ball is calling. Looked a little long, but no, right on the line. First stands. Perfect forehands from Gerges. Does she love? His address will have two challenges. Huge double fault. It's the fifth double of the match and really giving Andreescu some hope here. 30 love down. It looked as though we were heading to a deciding set, but possibly not. Big point this. Is it going to be a set point or a break point?
went for it. Little off balance, maybe a little ambitious. She has been missing Yulia Gerges, so would that have been a time just to try and get the ball in court and get the German to keep playing balls there? Set points. her side again it was a Ace. good return the bandage is going that's clearly putting her off it can be really uncomfortable to play in those big bandages that wrap so tightly Great serve. He's Andres being challenged. Ball, the right service line. The ball is calling. Perfect. Nice Absolutely perfect serve. Set point number two. Ms. Andrescu has one challenge with me. is not done with just yet. Good response nice from Yulia Kyrgyz after being seven. blown away, really, in that opening set. She takes the second by seven games to five, and we are heading the distance here at the 2019 ASB Classic Final. Time. So deciding set. Once again, it's going to be the Canadian to get us started. Final set. After Gurgis took the second, 7-5. Oh, 
couple of Love cheap, it. unforced errors. She's got to keep it together. Not only the lower back injury, of course, that is perhaps giving her some bother, Andreescu, but let's not forget that this is her eighth match this week. To come through three qualifying rounds as well, so she's played a lot of tennis, a lot more than Yulia Gerges has. Oh, what an angle, and what a camera angle as well to see that perfect return. 15, and two break points already. Unlucky. And Gerges breaks to kick start this final set. Has Andreescu got anything left in the tank? Here are the stats for the second set. Certainly much better on the serve for Yulia Gerges, winning 71% of points behind her first, 54 behind her second, and landing. 62% compared to around 40% in the first set. Over double the number of winners. A few more unforced errors, but a much better level. Errors that we haven't really seen throughout this match from Andreescu. Had a couple of cheap forehand mistakes in the opening game. Now that just backhand slice. Game regardless. Some start though from Gerges. In the blink of an eye, she goes two love up. Gorgas leads two games to love. This is where she just needs to keep her emotions in check here. Andreescu, she will be disappointed, of course, starting this third set like this, but she's only a breakdown. Canadian made her initial breakthrough in 2017. She qualified for Wimbledon. Also uh, made a first WTA quarter final at the City Open in Washington. But then the injuries began to hit last year. In 2018, she struggled really. She won a couple of uh, ITF titles.
Great second serve, wasn't it? Right down the tee. 15. Good hold and a much needed hold. This is what she did in the second set. She went down an early break, but she stayed in touch, and eventually she did get the break back. Gurgis leading 2-1. Thank you. What immediate overall. 15 love. And Fabio Sosa and no challenge either from Andreescu, so he's clearly pretty satisfied that that did just catch the line. It's a wonderful one-two punch from Kyrgyz there. Game, Gorgas. Easy holds. It was interesting after she won that second set she started walking to a chair she pointed to her head as if to say it's all Burgess. between it's the ears and that's something that Michael Gessera has really helped her with the mental side of the game <laughs> plenty of fans in though Andreescu Thank you, players already. Thank you very much. Please.
beautifully done. Got right on top of the bounce. Took it as early as she could, taking the time away from her opponent. Great depth. Fifteen on. Long. Sure. Too many of the fans know it was long. Oh, this could be the match right here. 15.30 if Gurgis breaks again. Pretty hard to see a way back. There. Didn't try and do too much in that rally. Dershiel. She's made it. And it brings up break points. Terrific defense from Yulia Gerges. Thought that Andreescu had just done enough with that one. The dry volley, though, didn't do her any favors clipping the net court. It just allowed Gerges plenty of time to set herself and make that backhand pass. This for the double break. Double break confirmed. New goals, please. And it may well just be a matter of time now. Unless Bianca Andreescu has got something else up her sleeve. But it's Gurg is well in control. She leads by four games to one. Andreescu has requested to see her coach as well. And you, so sometimes you're, you're a bit far, okay? So, so she's taking the ball very early, okay? So make sure you're not too far, okay? But Bianca, you've got it, okay? <coughs> believe in you, okay? I believe in you, and I, I know you do, okay? 
Be positive, okay? You got this. You got this. Ali. Come on. Time. A oh, very positive chat from uh, Virginie Tremblay, fitness coach, part of the uh, Tennis Canada. Thank you. But it's Gerges serving with a double break, 4-1 up. Coach was telling her to be aggressive if she is feeling an injury, just trying to keep the points short and sharp. Wants her to try and get further up the court as well. Oh, that she was just a little bit too deep. We actually saw the graphic, didn't we? It was at the end of the first set. She was playing about 90% of the balls behind the baseline, whereas yesterday in the semi-final she was playing over 50% of balls inside the baseline. hitting from Yulia Gerges and it's pretty easy for Virginie Tremblay to tell Andreescu to try and get further inside the baseline but against someone like Yulia Gerges it's really not that easy she just forces you back pushes you back and she's serving now to stay in this final 1-5 It's such a shame that Bianca Andreescu is not 100% heading into this final, but the fact that she's actually reached the final when the back has been bothering her the entire week just shows incredible attitude. You dread to think what she could do when she's... 100% fully fit, don't you? Block She's playing like this at, say, 70%. Championship points 
for Yulia Gerges. Crowd doing all they can to try and get behind the 18 year olds. First serve. Two championship points come and go. Well, I think Julia Gerges quite likes coming to Auckland. She becomes the first woman in 15 years to defend the title here. This time, 12 months ago, she had to beat the former world number one, Caroline Wozniacki, in the final. But this year, she had to beat a remarkable 18-year-old qualifier who was ranked 152nd coming into this week. But the German was once again a class apart. And Julia Gerges, for the second time, is the ASB Classic Champion here in Auckland. Had to do it the hard way. Came from a set down. She lost that opening set 6-2. She had to fight in the second set, taking it 7-5. A few tears and emotional Julia Gerges. And 6-1 in the deciding set. But let's also just take a minute to give Bianca Andreescu a huge amount of credit for the week that she's had. A massive embrace with Virginie Tremblay, her fitness coach. It has been a week that she will never, ever forget. She beat Caroline Wozniacki, former world number one. She beat Venus Williams, a former world number one. And she has now just pushed Julia Gerges, a former world number nine, all the way. She may not have been at 100% either fitness-wise, Bianca Andreescu, that lower back causing her trouble. She had to take a medical timeout. And as I said, it uh, is a little bit scary what she could achieve when she is 100% fit. But it is a week that she can really build on Andreescu. But Yulia Gerges for the second consecutive year starts off the season with a win. It's all smiles now and mentally she'll be delighted with how she regrouped that because she was way below her level in that first set. She looked a little bit flat. Andreescu came out of the blocks absolutely flying. No sign of nerves at all. And she has made a load of fans along the way. And no doubt Julia Gerges will be full of praise for the Canadian as well in her speech in a couple of moments time
So another wonderful week in Auckland comes to an end as we take a look at these stats. The serve certainly improved as it went on for the German. She ended up winning 70% of points behind her first serve. The second serve a little low, but uh, that's probably because of the 